This is ABC 7 News This Morning. More development from Boston in our 5 o'clock hour, including whether the suspect could face even more charges. Attorney Thomas Glasgow joins us to uh, talk about the unusual legal angles of this case. Right now, it's eight minutes after five. We continue to follow the legal developments in the Boston Marathon bombing. Attorney Thomas Glasgow joins us in just a few minutes with more on what makes this case so unusual. What to expect next in the case against the surviving Boston Marathon suspect? Attorney Thomas Glasgow will be joining us right here in the studio to talk more about it when we come back. The surviving suspect in the Boston Marathon bombing, Joe Carr Zanarev, faces federal charges that could mean the death penalty. That after a judge charges him at his hospital bedside yesterday. Our legal expert attorney, Thomas Glasgow, joins us right now to explain some of the very unusual legal aspects of this case. Good morning, Thomas. Nice to have you Good here. Good morning, Judy. So much discussion yesterday about whether he should have been charged as an enemy combatant. Mm -hmm. What happened there? You know what? It's fascinating because he committed terroristic acts, so people immediately decided, why don't we go ahead and charge him as an enemy combatant? As much as Padilla did when the George Bush administration attempted to strip a citizen of their rights and turn them into an enemy combatant so that they could have a military tribunal go ahead and prosecute them as opposed to a civilian tribunal. We've had great success in this country um, under the DOJ prosecuting criminals for these types of actions. If you look at the bombings in New York, you look at bombings throughout the country and terrorist acts throughout the country, we had a very good success rate in utilizing the criminal justice system to prosecute civilians. To make him an enemy combatant would create, kind of create a two-tiered system for someone to strip away their constitutional and citizenship rights and then be able to hold them indefinitely. Something that Anton Scalia, who's not really a liberal, ended up really chastising the Bush administration for doing. Hmm. Okay, so at this point, he is facing federal charges. That's correct. Does that carry the death penalty? Currently, it does, yes. The death penalty is part of what is going on with the charges that have been lodged against him at this point. In fact, the public defender, or in this case, the federal defender, who was appointed to the case, specifically filed a pleading asking for additional help, for asking for two additional attorneys to work with her that has had experience in death penalty cases. That's how important this particular charge is, and that's how seriously they're taking the death penalty charges. Thomas, what about the issue over the Miranda rights? You know, uh, obviously he wasn't read the rights right away and he was questioned. Will that be brought up by the defense? Yes, it will. I mean, and I think it's something that's very important in this case and that during the course of the questioning when they first had him in custody, they began to ask him questions. They began to ask him questions that pertain to public safety. And public safety is an exception under the Miranda right. rule. However, the courts have limited this to minutes, not hours. You can't say, oh, well, we'd like to know first further about other terroristic activities in the area, they're looking to make sure that people don't get hurt through either imminent danger of bombs or guns or other actions. In this case, they didn't renew the Miranda rights. You've also got someone who's sedating and as a former law enforcement officer who ended up questioning people in the hospital who were under sedation, that's going to be one of the motions that they're going to end up filing wow, against Wow, we're it. certainly going to be following this very closely. Thomas, thank you so much for coming in this morning. Thank you very Thanks much. Thanks for the info. Right now, we're going to pause right here and check weather.